Hey everybody, today we are going to create a little tutorial for your favorite Flappy game. You know what that is, right? Flappy something. Flappy wings. Flappy, yeah. You can put your own sprite, do whatever you want to do. And it could be a flappy circle. It could be a flappy pelican. Hey, that's a good idea. Let's do a flappy pelican. All right, so let's start off with our background. Uh, first thing I just remind you, and the setup class here, I've got all of the different widths set up of the screen. I've got all the different colors there, uh, light red, dark red, all the way down to black, dark gray, and so forth. So in our main, we have to remember to call that up. This is our setup in it here, and this will initialize our specific colors. So we've got to make sure you do that first. Our background is, let's do, I don't know, let's make it a nice pretty sky. Let's do a light blue. How about that? Let's see if it's going to pop up here in just a second. Boom, there it is. All right, there's our light blue. And let's first, we want to start getting the sprite in order. And with this, let's get, uh, I have a pelican, my little pelican taco. And we will put him on the screen here. He is stored, I believe, at our project pelican. And I'm gonna put him right in the middle of the screen, right in the middle of the height. And then his width, let's see if this is gonna be big enough. All right, there he is, awesome. So there's our oh, Mr. Pelican. So this first one, uh, the first one is where he is located. If you just put sprite with uh, parentheses like that and then tap on the parentheses, it will ask you to go and look in your photos and so forth and you can pull up the particular sprite that you want. So that is where he is stored. He's stored directly in my project here. Uh, I'm putting him at 50% of the width and 50% of the height. And this is his width, his size there. So you can make him bigger, smaller, depending on how it scales him down, if that makes sense. All right. So that's probably about as big as I want him if I'm going to make him go through uh, the tubes and, and whatnot as they fly through the screen. So um, actually, I want him to be a little bit more on the left side. So let's try, let's put him over at 20%. There we go. So that's going to be a little bit better for him. Now, one of the first things, uh, or second things we want to do is draw the ground. So let's do that. Let's draw the ground here and it's, we're going to fill it. Let's do dark green. And we want the rectangle to go from the bottom left corner to the, all the way to the edge. And so the width of the rectangle is going to be width and the height will be about 10% of the screen. So that is about uh, looking good for ground, right? That's probably what we want for a ground there. Now let's deal with uh, his flying and his gravity and so forth. So first of all, we want gravity to fall, basically. Uh, we want him to fall down uh, on the screen. So if we do, we'll do an if statement and we'll say, uh, we'll just start off with I to iterate through this. If H, if I is greater than H10, now H10 is down here. This is the height of the grass right here. That's H10. So we want this variable to say that basically the position of Pelican, if the Pelican is above the grass, then continue to draw him. So, but here's what's going to happen. As we draw him, every time we go into this if statement, we want I to decrease by three. So that means every time he goes through, every time it cycles through here, he will fall down. So when we put an end here, he's going to start but we haven't, um, we haven't said what I is. At the beginning there, we need to tell what I is. I will be, where will he start? Let's have him start in the middle of the screen. So there he is. Now, um, let's keep going here. And now if he is, we'll refresh it there. He stays in the middle and we have it right, set up right here as H50. This needs to be I. So when we refresh it, he's now going to fall and he's going to continue to fall and he falls off the screen. Now he notice he disappears. Okay. And we'll talk about that here in just a second, but look here I, what I want to explain. Let's talk about what happens here. I starts out at half of the height. That's H 50, right? And then, so it comes through in here and says, if I is greater than H 10, well, it starts off at H 50. So you're good. So it comes down here and it draws the sprite at width 20 I, which is H 50. And then, it decreases it by three pixels every time. So now when it cycles back through, I is not H50, it's H50 minus three pixels. So then it goes through again and then it subtracts three more pixels. So then it's H50 minus six pixels. You continue to go through there until H 
is around H10. And if it is at H10, here's what you're gonna wanna do. We'll do an else if statement. If I is less than or equal to H10, then we're going to do this. We're gonna draw him. We'll put our sprite again and project pelican. All right, we got that there. And we are gonna put him right at I. All right, and so this will keep him, and that will draw him as if he's stopped. Does that make sense? There you go. So look, now he is stopped, which is nice. We refresh it here. Boom. He will fall down, and when he hits the ground, he stops. All right, he stays particular. He stays right there because the eye is no longer decreasing. Gravity is basically stopped for our pelican, and he's good to go. Well, we're gonna stop here for our first part. We have created the background, I've got our sprite in there, and added our pelican along with gravity. So uh, stay tuned for our next video as we go through and talk about how to touch the screen and make the bird flap. And then looking at starting to draw the tubes and the rectangles that he's going to fly through. So thanks for joining us. Check us out on the next video.